Hello ladies and gentlemen. Some of you may know me as Tara Melvin, the wedding planner of Perfect Planning, but I am here to bring to you something new and exciting that I have created. I am now hosting my own video show called You're Cordially Invited. It is a video show that's going to showcase some of the premier wedding professionals in the Washington DC metro area, spotlighting them and letting you aware of who they are as individuals and also getting to know them as wedding professionals. So I invite you to come join me monthly as we go into the day in the life of these wedding professionals within the Washington DC metro area. So again, you're cordially invited. Hello and welcome to You're Cordially Invited. Today we're going to talk with a wedding professional that captures the moments of each and every event and kind of like tells the story throughout today. And to help carry that out is Darling Palmen of Darling Palmen Photography. And I'd like to welcome her today as she discusses with us about her photography services and how she is the artist behind the camera capturing those moments. Hello, how are you? Hi, hi Tara, thank you so much for having me here. Good. Well, I just wanted to talk to you today about the services that you provide. And I just love you as an individual because you're always so bubbly and happy and stuff. And that's how you make your clients feel most of all. So with that, as far as me describing you, tell me three words that you think describe you. Um, three words to describe me. Fun, energetic, mm -hmm. uh, and very much in love with my job. Okay, all right. And kind of talk about how you became a professional photographer. It came after, um, actually, to start from the very beginning, my husband is a professional photographer. Okay. And at some point, every professional needs an assistant. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, back in 2004, I became his assistant and completely fell in love with it and decided to further my education. So I went back to school and took um, photography classes. And mm -hmm. after that, I was very lucky to have amazing mentors okay. um, that mentor me and have mentored me throughout the years. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got my technique. That's how I have, I have better my technique and what I do. Mm -hmm. And as far as technique, how do you s describe your photography work? I've heard in the industry, and you're the profession, so you correct me, um, there is the photojournalistic, and then there's like the candid. Kind of talk to us about those different styles and what type of photographer you are. All right. That's exactly it. Okay. Actually, th those are all the styles of photography. Okay. We have traditional for journalistic, mm -hmm. the candid. Um, I am more of a modern for journalistic slash traditional. Okay. Why? Because I shoot with my husband. So mm -hmm. he's my second and mm -hmm. he is very much very traditional. Mm -hmm. However, I'm trying to break into the more modern. Mm -hmm. I'm, I am more modern. Um, I love different things, different angles. Um, I love to interact with, with my clients mm -hmm. and try to get the best out of them. Mm -hmm. So that when you, when they see those images, they're completely in love mm -hmm. and in, like they are surprised. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you can say traditional slash for a journalistic okay. modern. Okay. And how do you get to know your clients to kind of make sure to, like you're saying, love? How do you bring that love out in the photos? How, so how um, do you get to know them? Well, I, from the moment I meet my clients, I'm, I meet with them in person. Okay. Um, from the very beginning, I ask questions. Mm -hmm. And um, once they've one, once they have hired me, mm -hmm. I they get a lot of emails and okay. questionnaires, okay. and um, and I always advised all of my clients to um, 
to set up a, a time for an engagement session. Okay. An engagement session is, is the best way to get to know your photographer, mm -hmm. to get to know the way he work, he or she works. Mm -hmm. um, and I also get to, to know my clients. Okay. I see what they are, not mm -hmm. only individually, but together. I know how to make them smile. I mm -hmm. learn mm -hmm. um, how they interact with words that I use, mm -hmm. um, and I make sure to I make sure to um, to pay attention to their body language, and that's exactly how how I, I do my job. Okay, it's it is that way that I am able to get the best in them, mm -hmm. and and projects that into my images. Okay. Um, I did just recently had a client and she was stating that, oh no, I don't want to do the engagement session. And then the, her next statement was, well, I don't really don't want the photographer to take photos of me because I don't like being a photograph. So I was just like, okay, well, don't you think the engagement session would be that great time for you to get to know the photographer and the photographer to get to know you? Do you feel that same way about the engagement session for those that do not like the camera? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I am a photographer and I used to think the same way. Mm -hmm. I, I am not very fond of being in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. um, however, this is the most special time in your life. Mm -hmm. You want it to be captured. Mm -hmm. You want to have those memories. Mm -hmm. And absolutely, hands down, have an engagement session. You, I have all of my couples, 100% out of my couples, they, after they have that engagement session, mm -hmm. they always tell me how glad they are that they did it. Mm -hmm. They are like, oh my God, this was the best idea. We loved the engagement session. Now mm -hmm. we know exactly what to do. Mm -hmm. When the wedding comes and I say a word like, okay guys, smile, look at each other. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, just like in the engagement session. <laughs> and they know exactly what to do, how to do it and mm -hmm. be comfortable. Okay. Absolutely. Right. Have an engagement session. You will not regret it. And how do you pick the locations for the engagement sessions? It's um, based on the questionnaires. Again, I have a lot of questionnaires that mm -hmm. I send out um, and a lot of emails that go into it. And I always ask my clients to let me know if there is any area, location, a specific restaurant, um, a park, or, or any other area that is very special to them. Mm -hmm. um, like, for example, the restaurant where they got engaged, where he proposed, uh, when he proposed, or where they met. Mm -hmm. um, all of those different, all of, this, all of those different um, uh, locations are very important. Mm -hmm. And absolutely, they mean the world to them. Okay. Um, I have clients that are from out of town, mm -hmm. so when they come and get married in D.C., they want to make sure to portray and to have images of the DC as a backdrop mm -hmm. because they want to they want to show their clients I mean they want to show their guests I'm sorry um, that they're getting married in this beautiful city mm -hmm. and of course they want the city to be a part of their day okay and as far as the day of the event um, do you go out ahead of time to kind of like scope out the location to kind of think of creative ways or how does that process work with you Exactly. It, it, that, that's exactly what I do. Okay. I, I either take the time to go to the location a few days before, mm -hmm. um, or I get to the location ahead of time, okay. a few hours ahead of time, if not an hour ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And I scope out the area. Okay. I ask questions. I look, hey, what can I do? Where can I do it? Mm -hmm. How can I do it? How can I light it? Mm -hmm. um, what angles can I, you know, what angles can I tackle so that I can get the best imagery? And that's exactly what I do, scoping. It's okay. the best thing for a photographer. And I know with you, as far as uh, your photography work, your pictures come out flawless. Is that because you do any type of retouching to the pictures or is that the actual raw footage that someone is getting from you? Believe it or not, um, most of what I do mm -hmm. is on camera. Okay. I highly believe in on camera capturing. Mm -hmm. And um, I, if I do anything, it's make, make it black and white. Okay. Um, and or maybe a little bit of saturation. Mm -hmm. But most of what you see, more mm -hmm. of what you see in my albums, it's exactly how it comes out of the camera. Okay. And then as far as like the services that you do provide to your clients, what are some of the things that you offer to them whenever they come for your services? We offer an array of products. We have wedding albums, of course, different sizes mm -hmm. from the very small for parents uh, to the very large for the couples. And um, a lot of their parents also choose them. We also provide canvas uh, printing, mm -hmm. large print sizes, small, smaller ones as well. Um, 
and that's about it that's that's we okay. have we don't have a lot of options I think keeping it small it's it's easier for my clients to okay. choose from and I see that you've bought one of your um, yes. wedding albums here kind of describe what you have here in front of us this is my elite line we do have two lines we have the standard line okay. and we have the elite line okay. this is my fantasy elite line I love it mm -hmm. um, you can have an image in front of it mm -hmm. and you can also have a dual dual uh, materials on it as okay. you can see now I've used two different size uh, to do I mean two different um, colors the purple and the green because okay. that's what the bride had um, during her wedding okay. and she wanted to incorporate that into the album okay. and I love it it's beautiful designed it's just pristine I love the colors I love the materials they look absolutely beautiful. This is 100% guaranteed. Um, I love this album company because if you were to write on it with a permanent marker, mm -hmm. um, this nail polish remover, you can just remove it and it will be as good as new. Mm -hmm. See, this bride had excellent taste. She has some Magli Mishka shoes. Yes. And then as far as the layout um, of the album, is this something that you decide on or is it something that the client decides on? Um, I, I do the, the preliminary design, mm -hmm. but then my bride has revisions mm -hmm. and she can just let me know whether or not she likes it or whether or not she wants me to go a different direction. Okay. And I, of course, I take my bride in consideration when I design my album. Mm -hmm. After all, this is her wedding album. Okay. It has to represent who she is and who they are. And about how many photos comes in an album like It this? depends on the size. Like this one, it's a 40-page album. Mm -hmm. um, so this one will have about 75 images. Okay. From 50 to 75. This one in particular has 75. Okay. All right. And um, is that like the minimum or the bride can choose as many as she wants? She can choose as many as she wants. Okay. All right. Wonderful. And then as far as uh, once the event is over with, um, the bride picks her photos. How long does it take for her to get an album like this as a finished product? Well, her images are usually ready between six and eight weeks, mm -hmm. depending on whether she gets married on the busy season or not. We okay. do, we are, we're trying really hard to be finished before then. Um, once the images are uploaded to mm -hmm. their personal gallery, they can just look at it and they can create an album called Go um, create a folder within that gallery okay. called album, and then she just moves all of those images. After she's done that, and she lets me know, it's about a week or two. Okay, wonderful. And then this lovely album, it does come in a case, which yes. you've bought here. And of course, this has your personal logo on there. Would the bride or the client be able to get their own names Absolutely. or whatever engraved in there? Yes. Okay. And then it opens out, and it's a it's a wooden box almost, it's a wooden right? Box. Okay. Very, very nice. The velvet structure, it's mm -hmm. absolutely luxurious. I love it. And then that's the cover yes. that the book goes in, inside yes. of. It has a velvet bag as well that it can also be personalized for my clients. Oh, okay. Oh, names. I didn't even notice it. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, great. And when you're taking your photos, how do you know if you've captured like the picture? I know all of your photos are great, but do you ever sit back and think, oh, this is the picture? Well, that's, that's a hard question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, throughout the day, and that's the reason I come to the event early, mm -hmm. I, I get to see the beginnings of how this is put together. Um, so I invest myself into the day. Mm -hmm. I know from the very beginning what I'm capturing. Um, I try to capture the feel of the wedding, whatever it's happening, how my clients are feeling, how they are reacting, all of that is being captured. I do not leave the location until I am satisfied mm -hmm. with what I have. Okay. If I am not satisfied, I don't mind staying later, mm -hmm. but I have to be happy with what I have, okay. otherwise I, I don't leave. Mm -hmm. I, I leave until I'm, I'm, I know that I have it, and that's what I do every time. As a photographer, do you go to any extremes to capture that one particular photo? Like jumping in trees? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. What I've... are some things that you've done that have been <laughs> to the extreme? <laughs> um, at the Four Seasons in Texas, um, we had a fun bridal party, extremely mm. fun. And they, at 3 o'clock in the morning, they wanted to jump in the pool. I was really lucky that I had video lights and I lit it because it was completely dark. Mm -hmm. And uh, in order to capture that, that, that one particular shot, I, got, I had to get in, in the middle of the pool. With your clothes on? With my clothes on. 
And um, so I submerged myself in the pool and I let them know, okay, I'm ready. And they jumped in. Wow. <laughs> so I've, I've done that. Okay. That's, that is definitely extreme. Yeah. Anything to, make, to get the right photo, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. I believe in that. And as a photographer, do you feel as if you're an artist? I, I actually think of it more of a stylist documenting rather than art. Um, cause I stylized most of what I do, mm -hmm. um, from, from letting my bride know to move into the right light, um, to making sure that I capture my bride when she's at her most beautiful after makeup is done, once his hair is almost done. Um, so it's more of a stylized shoot cause mm -hmm. we have to move things around to make them look good. Um, in a getting ready room, if it's crowded, you don't see that cause we move everything. I am, I if I go into the into into a hotel room where my bride is getting ready, I would move every single piece of furniture to the one corner mm -hmm. and have that area where she's at um, clean and free of of anything, okay. so that I can capture that shot. Okay, wonderful. Mm -hmm. So you go to any lengths to make sure that everything comes out right for the bride. It is in the details. Mm -hmm. Everything photography is in the details, and wedding photography. Um, it's definitely in the details. You have to be very detailed, mm -hmm. and I am very detailed. Mm -hmm. I love details. I love capturing everything. Um, so I, I go to great lengths to make sure that, that I, pro I, I create that environment, mm -hmm. not just for my clients, but for myself. Because on the wedding day, nobody's thinking about it. So if no one is thinking, my bride is not going to be thinking about, oh, let me move these bags from, from where I am. Mm -hmm. So I have to think about it. And as far as, I know we've talked a lot about weddings, do you just photograph weddings or do you photograph other things also? I don't know. I, I specialize in weddings. I love weddings. I, I love them. I live them. I, I, I honest to God, I do enjoy them. Mm -hmm. um, I used to do more portraits okay. um, and um, I used to do events, mm -hmm. but I don't have the time now. If one day I have more time, I'll probably go back to doing portraits. But for now, wedding photography keeps me really busy and I am, I'm enjoying it. Okay. And you say it's just you and your husband, correct? My husband and I, yes. And um, how far in advance would someone need to book you? I've been booked two years in advance. Okay. Um, my, right now I am booked through 2014. Wow. May 2014. Um, it doesn't happen all mm -hmm. the time, but mm -hmm. I am, I, sometimes I, I do a lot of Indian weddings, so okay. I can have an Indian wedding three weeks out mm -hmm. um, or two years in advance. Okay. So it, it, it varies a lot in wedding photography. And do you do just one wedding per weekend or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or how does it work with you? Um, in 2011, uh, during the Hurricane Irene, that weekend, I did five weddings. Wow. Yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Wow. <laughs> yes. So it, I see everything. Mm -hmm. I, 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 a lot of the times it's by weddings that weekend mm -hmm. or, or three. or This year was very seldom when I was not doing a wedding uh, on a weekend. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I have seen, I've, I've had that happen to me. So how does your husband feel now? He got you into the business and now you're leading the business. So how does that feel? Well, before it used to be called Palm and Photography Studios. Now it's Darling Photographers. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, was, it was hard for him, at, I guess, at the beginning. But, but he loves my eye and what I've made of my company. Mm -hmm. And he's really proud of me. Well, that is wonderful. Wonderful. Well, I definitely enjoy working with you and being a part of your sunshine because you do bring sunshine to any day, especially on a day like this when it's cloudy outside. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, you have heard it right here. Darling Palming of Darling Photographers. Yeah. Please give her a call. Follow her on Facebook and um, have her to document your love story for the day. And thank you for joining us today here on Court You're Cordially Invited.